Okay, basically, uh, this is my first attempt at a video guitar lesson. Uh, I, I play guitar. Uh, I don't claim to be an amazing guitarist, but I've been playing for quite a few years with bands and uh, playing lead guitar. Uh, not perfectly, but I've managed to pick up some tricks that work. <laughs> and I, the point of this video is to help people that are aspiring to play lead to kind of show them some things that help me. Uh, you know, it's perfect. Or even if you're playing lead, maybe I've got a lick that uh, is new to you. It's going to start off pretty basic. So uh, first thing I want to go over, if you want to play lead, uh, you've got to learn the pentatonic scale. And basically what that means is whatever key you're playing, and if it's like a blues scale, it's a good way to think about it. Uh, if you're in G, you play that. If you're in A, it's right here. And so basically, let's start with A. The great thing about the pentatonic is it works in a lot of situations because uh, a lot of the notes that are either major or minor and that kind of make it not work aren't in there. Like it's 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 these are all like the major scale or Dorian scale or a different scale where they're simplified. So we're not I'm not going to try to confuse you, but basically here's the pentatonic A minor pentatonic scale in a basic form. <laughs> Basically, on your starting your low E string and you're on the fifth fret, this is the A. A is the first note, the root note A. You could do it in B, you could do it in G. But so basically, you're going that's fifth fret to eighth fret. With your pinky, use that pinky, that's critical. And then on the uh, A string, it's fifth to seventh. D string, same, fifth to seventh. G string, same, fifth to seventh, and then on the B string, fifth to eight. E string, fifth to eight, again. Now, kind of to show you, just even keeping it in this format, what you can do, I mean, there's all kinds of licks in here. Um, okay. But you can just do it. Like, let me give you an example of what you can do. And you know, so basically, I'm going to show you one more thing on that simple deal. If you work on these two things, it'll really, really help you. Uh, this is called the blues scale, and these are, I, I don't know the perfectness of it, but it's taking this same pattern here and adding some things that work. Uh, the first thing I do is like... So basically on this... It's on the A string and the D string. So when you go through the scale, and that's, uh, I believe it's parts of the blues scale. Another one is, uh, you know, when you're, when you're, it's coming backwards on that scale. So start here. Try to do stuff like that, you know, and uh, we'll go more into that, you know, but basically just messing around with this little scale. And I'll try to keep it real simple to show you. lesson and then we're just going to kind of take it pardon me i'm going to stop this lesson work on that just work on that it'll it'll help you in so many situations